Okay, so here we got the what I'm going to mount the front landing gear to. So I have some little uh, wood sections here, um, which are going to go between two of these bulkheads. And then I'll have some wood supports here that I mount the retract to for the nose gear. So in order to get these in there, I'm going to have to do some more hot wiring here. I'm going to have to cut this fuselage through here with the hot wire in two locations. So that's what's going to go on here next. And um, what I'm going to do is put some, uh, some cardstock here, pin it to the airframe here where I'm going to do my cut and just as a guideline use that cardboard to give me a nice clean straight cut through here. So first I'm going to do where the landing gear or where the gear door is going to start. So it's going to be right here on this bulkhead. And then after I cut that section off, this is what I'm going to be working with is this section. Once I do this cut, then I'll cut these two lines that so will cut open the gear door. And then I can cut the next line here where the second one of these will go in. And that's where I'll mount my gear to. So you're going to see that take place here right now. So I've got some cardstock here. So this hatch I'm just going to take off and I'm not going to need to cut this down. Um, and hopefully I get it once, it once I put these pieces back in and glue it all back together that this might slightly be a little bit off but I'm sure I could sand it in to make it fit. So we'll see how that goes. Okay so here I have my card stock. Real thin stuff. So I'm just going to pin these on here to use as a guideline. Hopefully this all goes as planned. Okay, so there you can see where I have this cardboard line here. That's going to be my cut guideline. And I'll just push that right through the hot wire. Looks like a good clean cut. There we go. Now I can cut this off and this will be my gear door. So I'm just gonna make two nice cuts here. These are the wood pieces for my uh, gear door hatch uh, supports, which will make the plastic stronger so it won't buckle or bend or whatever. So I got four of these for the front gear. So I'm gonna add a little space on the sides and that's where I'm gonna cut my line for my hatch probably go maybe twice this so I can put the a piece of balsa wood on the inside of the actual fuselage
Okay, so there, just little cardboard sections. I'm gonna run the hot wire along this here, and that'll cut my gear door hatch. Okay, so this is the wood template that's gonna go in on bulk 22, which is the front end of here. So this is just gonna get glued in there, but of course I'm gonna shave this into the foam so it resets inside there, it fits flush. And then this piece will be going in bulk number 24, which is two inches behind. So now I gotta cut this section again. And then, so I can glue that in there. And then what you have here is these two indentations will be for my wood pieces, which the retract will mount to this. And then I have these two long sections, which will go down through the bottom of the battery hatch, which ties into these as well, just to give it a little more support and strength. Okay, so I got the other section uh, pinned off here. So I'm gonna cut along this cardboard as a guide. Okay, that's that. Now it's time to glue in the wood sections and then glue it back together. Okay, so here is the front section of the fuselage here that I, I got glued back together with the, the retract mount, nose retract mount in there so you can see the wood in there. Um, that's where the supports are now. That's where the two two, two bulkheads are that, that come together that's going to hold the retract mount in there. So if I turn this over, we can see where, we can see where that is. So, so this is where the two sections, two pieces of wood will go in there. And then of course I'll have to backfill this foam section back in with some more foam. So I'll cut this middle section out from, from, from here down and fill that back in with foam so it'll be flush. But the retract mount, the retracts will, the retract for the nose will mount right there from there to there. And there will be two pieces of wood there so that I can mount to. And then this will be filled back in with foam from here down. And then I have to cut out, continue cutting out the door hatch about another two or three inches here um, on the next piece of this glue together. So I'll be marking that out and cutting that out. But uh, I do have some spots here I need to fill in with some uh, lightweight spackle here. To get all that filled back in but it's it's glued on there good it's pretty pretty tight and, and it looks nice and the hatch still fits on there pretty well after it got after i glued it back together the hatch still fits on there pretty well coming along good shouldn't be long here and then i'll have the retracts all mounted and have the whole fuselage glued together and we can test out all the retracts at once and see how it sits I did get uh, my box. This is for the front retract. This here's my front retract. My little box now is made and completed for for the servo. This will hold the actual servo for the steering of the front retract. Get that front servo nose 
So my uh, retract nose gear servo will go in here. I get mounted in there, and, and then that will get. That way, I can put all this together before putting it inside the fuselage, so I can know it's working. It's all lined up. It's easy to access the the, the wires for the servo, etc. For the steering servo, and then uh, this will get mounted in to the wood inside the front fuselage, just like that. After, it just allows me to mount the servo to the steering mechanism before I even install it into the jet, so that's going to be a big help.